Okay. How many of you have seen the movie Dutch? Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's a movie from the 90s. It has Ed O'Neill in it. Uh, Ed O'Neill was uh, Al Bundy in, um, in uh, Married with Children. And uh, part of the movie is that uh, he goes to this homeless shelter with, uh, with this kid. You know, through a series of misadventures, he gets stuck in this homeless shelter at night. And at night, they're laying in bed. And they're talking to this homeless family, this mom and her son. And uh, they have this nice conversation. You know, they're, you know the, the homeless people, they're, they're clean. And they're nice. They're well-spoken. You know, I thought, wow, that's really cool. You know, working with homeless people and interacting with them. So uh, last summer, I go to Atlanta on a mission trip for the church. And we work with homeless people. And they're nothing like I saw in the movies. <laughs> First homeless person I met, his whole entire face had scars, burn marks from being caught in a house fire when he was sleeping. Other people, their eyes looked in different directions. You know, the, uh, they, they weren't looking as straight. Uh, there was other people who didn't have any teeth. They had track marks on their arms from shooting heroin. You know, and this is what Christians do. You know, things get a little rocky, a little unstable. They say, whoa, that's nuts. You know, I, I don't want to live like that. You know, and so, so they come down, you know, and they say, oh, I mean, let me just get, just hold on, you know, and this is your routine, you know, um, you know, I, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to sit here and, and hold on. And, 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 and this is what you look like, you know, this is what people do, you know, I'm just going to have this, you know, nice little family and, you know, I'm just going to, you know, we're going to keep to ourselves and, you know, I'm going to live in a gated community and, you know, I'm going to homeschool my kids. And, you know, and I'm going to make them wear helmets everywhere they go. You know? you know, and I'm not going to let them outside because the sun has bad rays. You know? And just on and on. And you live your life in this safety of, you know, I'm not going to do anything crazy for God. You know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to go to church on Sundays. And, you know, maybe I'll give 2%. You know, and, and maybe I'll help out in the, you know, the nursery. Or maybe I'll bring donuts because I feel guilty. You know, and you do this your whole life. And in, in, in your greatest prayer is, God, oh, please, just, you know, let me die in my sleep, you know? I, I just don't, don't want to feel anything. Just, just let me go quietly and go up to heaven, you know? And so, mm, you know, you're in your dream and you're sleeping. Mm, it's a nice dream, you know, I don't feel anything. And, you, and you, you're going up to heaven. And then, and then you wake up and you stand before the judge and you go... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine watching the Olympics and, and some girl gets onto the bounce beam, she straddles it, and then gets off and goes. What do you think the judge is going to put on the card? Well, you know, to me, that's the routine that so many Christians are heading for. The boring, and I don't want to do anything crazy with my life because I'm afraid I'm going to fall. One day, it's going to be a shock because you're going to wake up and you're going to get off the bounce beam and you're going to be in front of the judge and you're going to be amazed at what he has to say. I mean, you know, you think, you know, what, what, what do you think he's going to say? Oh, well done. Well done. You've lived the safest life possible. You know, you didn't slip. You didn't fall. And that's not the life that God's called us for. You know, uh, you know the, that's where the majority are going to head. But I don't want to be in the majority. I, I want to live like Paul. My greatest prayer is that when I die, I'm standing before the judge. And he says, wow, your life was crazy. Your life was bold. You took risks. And that's. That's what I want to have happen when I stand before God.